Hi guys, Steph here. So, um, this is a response for a challenge. Scrapper and Crafter. And the challenge was to make a tag that was Parisian themed. I have never in my life made a tag. I've made bookmarks, but never a tag. And uh, so I said, I'll give it a shot. I love Parisian themed stuff, so... Um, and she's such a sweetie, so wanted to try it out, but I couldn't make up my mind whether to do like a modern chic or a vintage Victorian feel. So what I did was both. I did one side, um, modern chic and one side Victorian, and I'll call it like opposites or something like that. Yin and yang, I don't know. So I'll show you one side at a time and show you what I used on each side. This is the modern chic side. Hold on, I gotta bring over my charm. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'll show you what I used on that, and then I'll go to the other side. So the paper that's back here is the Cartabella Paris Girl. And I used... Uh, well, you can see what I used. I used the signs and the background with all the different stuff. Then for this stamp here, I used um, my Sentiments Exactly stamp that is called Amore Sentiments. And I used this Eiffel Tower with uh, text inside it. And I used Stays on Black Ink and then I clear embossed it. And then this here, oh and I put um, where is it? Black soot distress ink all around the edges and up on top here. And then this here is a wood veneer from Diane McRae. And I put pearlescent orchid ink on top and then edged it in the black soot. And then this here is a Jolie sticker called Steampunk Hearts. And I just put that there, and it's got all the gears and stuff on it. And then I added a flower down here. And then here is some more of this pink lace. And it's got some uh, dark pink flatback pearl trim on it. And then up here, this pink cameo came from eBay. And I put it on top of... These spare parts, what are they called? Frame metal charms. And the oval ones fit the cameo perfectly. Um, so I just put it on top of that and put it right on there and added two pink flowers and a green. And then this is also another flower. This, this These two pink and this one are white. This stamp here is from, where did that go? Oh, of course, what did I do, move it? Hold on. Oh man, I moved it. Um, well, it's from a booklet that I had gotten uh, in a giveaway and it has just all these little cutouts you can use. So it's a little postage stamp with the Eiffel Tower. And then this white, here is the Jolie's uh, scalloped dotted icing and I just cut a piece and bent it and it bends quite easily and then this right here this charm is an artichoke charm from the set that I got sold as is for two dollars proud of that <laughs> and it's just got the little Eiffel Tower in an oval with diamonds. And then more lace up on top. And so that's the modern chic side. And now the vintage side. Totally different, I know. You get the charms over. So I didn't put paper in the back. I used vintage photo and tea dye distress ink and I distressed the whole thing and then I did the postcard stamp using my Lawn Fawn You've Got Mail. I used the postcard, 
the postage stamp and the cancellation marks. And I also use the airmail here, which is right here. So here's the postage card and the stuff. This is also the postage stamp on the other side from that little die cut pack. This right here is from this Hobby Lobby Artist Trading Card Backgrounds. And I just fussy cut the oval out. That's how they come like this and I put some tea dye distress ink around it and then here I put a 104 I love her flowers I put a wild orchid craft leaf and some trico rosebuds and back here in the background I used um, fired no festive berries and um, pumice stone and stamped this Tim Holtz uh, Eiffel Tower and I did one this way and one this way and most of it is covered up but you can see a little bit of it there and then here I used this lace that I got at a flea market looks like that and then this sticker here came from the Echo Park this and that graceful sticker pack and this is another one of Leslie's beautiful flowers I'm loving Leslie I might need more of your flowers I'm hoarding the rest but I love them I use your flowers more than I use the wild orchid crafts probably and then I have this little tiny Eiffel charm Eiffel Tower charm and this little tiny key charm and that's it. So I have my yin and my yang. Totally different depending on, you know, who would have it, what way they want it. So for my first uh, tag, you know, I went a little different by doing that. But I had fun with it. So thanks a bunch, hun. And if you haven't checked out her channel, it's Scrapper and Crafter. And that'll be in the description as well. So thanks a bunch for having this challenge. I had fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys.